Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. My name is Irina. I'm an Orthodox Christian. However, I do believe in God, in Allah, that Muhammad is his messenger and in Quran. My question is about relationship between man and woman. I'm attending Islamic uh, studies and we had a discussion. So is it true and correct that if a um, Muslim man is wealthy enough and has enough money, he can marry up to four females any time at his wish? Or is there any restrictions and condition? Is first wife, can she just reject it and he should follow? Thank you. Thank you, sister. Thank you very much. Thank you for asking me about my religion. In Islam, we can't lie. We have to tell you the truth. If we did lie, you'd catch us anyway because everything is spelled out real clear. In this book, in chapter 4, verse 3, it's very clear about this subject. Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, verse 3. And Allah says it. I'll give you more or less the translation. And marry other women. Oh! Wait a minute. And, oh, how do you start a sentence out with and? You don't. Do you ever walk up to somebody and my name is, what do you mean and? How do you start with and? So it means I have to go to the verse before it. Oh, verse 2, look at this. For the believers, the believers are being taught what not to do. You have to understand the way this came at the time. The believers were being told, don't do what you used to do. They used to take the yatim, the orphans, and if a little girl is orphaned, her mother and father are gone, whatever, then what are they going to do? They'll say, this is my wife. They would take a little girl and say, this is my wife. I'm taking this girl. Why? Because they want the money, the wealth. Not about sex. Come on, get that. You know. But they wanted to do that. So Allah said, don't take it and don't mix their money with your money saying you're going to help them when you're really increasing yourself. Yes or no? Is that right? Then it said, marry other women. Marry other women. Not those orphan girls to get their money. Marry other women. Ithna, Talatha, Arba. Two, three, four. And already this was a shock. Nobody ever told the Arabs they had any limit before. They were like, huh? What? What do you mean, tell me how many wives I can have? Well, you want to be a Muslim? If you do, there's a limit. It's never happened before. They could have a thousand wives. Nobody said anything. Uh, by the way, go look in your Bible. See how many wives Suleiman had. A lot more than four. Even I asked one of the Catholic sisters about being married. They said, the nuns cannot get married. I said, why? They said, they're married to God. I said, all of them? You have a problem with me? What was that? But never mind that. It's another subject. But it says four, and that's the maximum. So some companions of Muhammad, they had to divorce their wives. They didn't say, oh, look, we can go get, well, they had wives. Nobody ever said something like that before. Yes or no? Hello? Yes or no? Then it says another limit. So you ask about limits. You're hearing limits all over the place. Don't take the orphan's kids' money. Don't marry these little girls that are not old enough to get married. Don't marry women against their will. Chapter 4, verse 19. Don't marry more than four. And it, gave you, it didn't say like I said it. It said two, three, four. Why did it say two, three, four? Because two, three, four, if. Now it has a condition, another limit. If you can treat them all fairly. Otherwise, and here comes the biggest point, marry only one. Yes or no? No, 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 no. I just want to make a point about this because there's another, the bigger point for you is this. If a man feels strong urges, and the woman just doesn't like that. And we're talking about intimacy. In our society in the West, he simply goes to a prostitute, a mistress, some of them even rape an innocent girl because they have this desire 
and the wife is telling them, stay away from me. Yes or no? Every 60 seconds in the United... It's 43 seconds actually now. Every 43 seconds, a woman in the United States is sexually abused. It's true. Most of them, most of them, by their own brothers and fathers. True. Islam is providing something very clean and legitimate and upfront. If the man is going to have a relationship with another woman, it has to be a legitimate relationship with a marriage, a piece of paper that says that he's married and he's responsible for her, and she's a legitimate wife, not an illegitimate mistress having illegitimate children. The children have full rights from either marriage and no hanky-panky at all. Islam forbids hanky-panky. No. It's a very serious crime in Islam. Yes or no? Very serious crime. So if a man takes another wife, and he doesn't have to be rich to do it, I don't know who told you that, and he doesn't have to take his wife's permission to do it, I don't know who told you that, but I will tell you this, if he doesn't tell her about it, if he doesn't talk to her about it, and she doesn't agree with it, he's going to have problems. That's as simple as that. Because there's nothing that'll make a man more crazy than his wife being against him. Alhamdulillah, my wife solved my problem on this subject from the very beginning. Dear sister, I want you to listen. And I'm very happy. She told me you can have four wives because Islam said you can have four wives and I care more about Islam than I do my own feelings. No problem. I said, really? She said, yes. And one woman from Texas is equal to four from anywhere else.